This is a video on casting on and casting off techniques. I've done it on a chunky machine so it's easier to see the needles and the stitches. I've hung a cast on strip. I've done a row of ravel cord. The carriage is on the right. Now going to do a, a single E-wrap. You bring the needles forward to E position. Take your yarn and make a little knot, slip it over the first needle like that and very loosely, I say very loosely when you first start, literally do an E round each needle. I can't see what I'm doing because the video iPad's in the way. to the end leave the needles in the upper working position but don't have your hold levers buttons slides on or else it won't knit thread your carriage and knit across that is a closed edge cast on which won't come undone I'll do a few rows to show you and then I'll take it off the machine take the ravel cord out and show you that it won't come apart taking that off the machine There's the ravel cord, which I'm now going to pull out and show you the cast on that we've done. Right. That's the cast on strip, put that to one side. This is the E-wrap cast on edge that we've just done. And that will not come undone. That's a closed cast on. I'll now show you how to do a double E wrap. Double E wrap. Cast on strip again, one row of ravel cord, carriage on the right. Take your yarn, put a knot in it as before. Bring all your needles out to E position. Hang that on the first needle, but instead of going round the next one, like we would normally do for an e-wrap, go round it, but bring it over so it sits in the hook of the first needle, and pull the first needle back and knit through. I'll try and show you that in slightly. Um, closer view bring it over the one you would normally go to e-wrap but bring it over and put it in the hook of the first one make sure you've got it in the hook knit it back through This gives a slightly firmer edge. That makes it slightly more difficult to pull the uh, ravel cord out.
got to the end and you've got one needle still stuck I still wrap round that one and pull it through thread your carriage bring needles to E position to make it just a little easier to and knit across and I'll show you what that looks like to uh, attempt to pull the ravel cord out which not too bad and that is what the double e wrap looks like apart from there where i made a mistake and only did a single but again that gives a nice firm edge this is a crochet cast on cast on rag one row of ravel cord, carriage on the right, bring needles to forward position, as far forward as you can go, hold, it's called on brothers, do your little knot, hang it on the first, put your latch hook through the first one, And then, I don't know if you can see this because my hands are in the way. Bring up the yarn, pull it through, bring it up through the next one. Through the next one. Again, try and do this fairly loosely or else it's going to make the uh, first row difficult to knit I'm not doing this very well because I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way of the uh, camera hook the last one onto the needle thread the carriage push those back against the gate pegs make sure all your needles are forward and if it's not being done too tightly we should be able to knit across oh just like and pull the ravel cord through that is a latch tool cast on looks like a chain stitch again closed not going to come apart last but by no means least the open cast on if you want to do a hem or if you want to add something else at the other end once you've knitted it and then knit downwards cast on strip ravel cord carriage on right 
thread carriage and basically knit. If I remove the ravel cord now, that would all come undone. But as you can see, I could pick up a hem at the bottom here. It's very difficult trying to do this on camera. Let me take that off. So you can see. Take those off, put it on your end stitch, and then pick the rest up. Which is basically how we did the cast on strips. Which is you are now making a hem, which obviously won't come undone. Sorry, this all looks a bit messy, but it's quite difficult trying to keep my head out of the shot because I'm not actually making a horror movie. Just remember to pick up the correct stitch uh, and don't pick up the actual. Um, Cast on strip. When you pick up for a hem like this, don't panic, you will always have one less stitch. It's just the nature of the beast, so don't worry that you're missing a stitch somewhere. And then when you carry on knitting, You've made a little hem, as you can see there, and that's now, if I pull this out, you've now got a little hem at the bottom. Okay, I'll carry on knitting it and then I'll show you some um, cast offs. Casting off behind the gate pegs. Hold your yarn. You can do this from both sides, uh, but I'm showing you it from this side. Take your first stitch, put it on your tool, and normally it's, you'd go round like that. But what you need to do is come around the gate peg and put the stitch on. Bring it forward. Put some yarn in the hook, knit it back. Behind the gate peg, put it on, knit it back. Take it off, go around the gate peg. And as you can see, it's actually hanging on the gate pegs there. This gives you a very even cast off. I'll do a few more. If you did it in front of the gate pegs, um, it doesn't give such a, a stretchy cast off. I'll carry on doing that and then um, I'll show you another cast off. The next cast off I'm going to show you is what's known as a latch tool. If you're right handed, end with your carriage on the left, turn your tension dial up by at least three and knit one row. If you're left handed, do that row right to left. 
then bring all your needles out to E position. Take your latch tool and put it in the first stitch, pull that stitch off, put it in the next stitch, let that fall behind the latch, pull it off and through. And I hope you can see that. I'll try and make it just a little bit bigger. So through that stitch, let that one fall behind, pull it through and off. There are other methods um, such as um, back stitch bind off that you can do where you just sort of sew through or take it off on waste yarn if you're going to attach something else to it. I hope that's been helpful and that you can you've been able to see what I've been doing. When you get to the last stitch you usually cut the yarn and pull it through but that's the latch. And now that matches if you've done a latch tool cast on and you want your ends to match if you I don't know on a scarf or something that gives you the same. 